from NBC News, this is Today with Hoda Kotb and Jenna Bush Hager from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hey guys, it is our favorite day of the week. If you're wondering what it is, it's Friday. It's <laughs> May 15th and we have a lot of reasons to smile, but one in particular, the man, the legend, Barry Manilow is going to sing for us on our show. I am so excited. Plus, uh -huh. we have some help for any of us who has an aching back right around now, working in front of the computers, picking up the babies. We're all aching. <laughs> um, and I hear we should be marking our calendars for tomorrow. Yeah, you know why? Let's find out what today it is from our researcher, Channing Hands. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, I know. Your back's been hurting. You're kind of cranky, but we're going to help you fix that. Yes, we're going to help you make your spine feel fine with the help of health and wellness expert, Christine Lucita. She's the author of The Right Fit Formula. Hi, how are you? Hi, good Hi. morning, guys. How you doing? Good morning. So we're all working from home, and you say to make your back feel better, it starts from the ground up. Yeah. What does that, what does that mean? Yeah, well, first of all, the key to a successful home workspace is an adjustable one. That's the first thing. So good posture, right? Starts from the ground up. First of all, it's really great to have a movable footrest. And why this is so great, because this allows you to get all, all those really nice angles from the ankle, from the knee, and from the hip. It also allows you to sit back in your chair, which allows you to easily stack your spine without much effort and be able to use the full support of the chair. And the thing to remember here is, you want your knees and your hips to be, again, at about a 90 degree angle. Your knees can be slightly lower, but you never want your knees to be higher than your hips because that will compress your spine. Now, do you need a fancy chair? Because I'm looking at your chair and I'm yeah. thinking that looks really good, but is I, that the whole key here? Well, this is an X chair. This is a super fancy chair because it adjusts in every way humanly possible, but most good chairs do. The most important part that you really want to adjust is the lumbar support because that fills that gap between your natural curve and the end of the chair so it allows you to sit back comfortably and work without strain or pain but here's the thing everybody out here we can all find our belt line right and so what you would do is just take a little pillow like this that we all may have or you can roll up a towel and you place that behind your back. Oh. That will allow you to find your own personal curve, which is pretty cool. I also wanted to tell you one thing that's really important about the chair is take you guys, take both fists just like this. Okay, and then you place it behind your knees. That should be the distance between the back of your chair and behind your knee. This space is so important because if it's too close, it will cut off any blood flow that you have going to your legs and spine, and your spine will not be feeling fine if that's the case. I, my back was not feeling fine, so I actually have this pillow behind me and not a fancy chair. But I think one of the reasons why our backs hurt is we're looking down so much at our keyboard and our mouse. So how should we set up our home computer? Your eyes drive your posture. So wherever your eyes go, so do your head and neck. So you want the top 25% should be directly at eye line of your screen. And then the 75% should fall below because our natural gaze is cast downward. Some people, like Joel has a standing desk. Yes. Is that a good thing to have? Should oh, you get one of those? Yeah, I have it as a sit to stand desk. I make just one quick commitment. All of my phone calls I take standing and it allows you to do that so you can just kind of offset all of that setting. Also, it allows you to adjust the monitor because all we want to do, the monitor should be really at an arm's length away. Uh, okay. Mm. It's a great way to measure. When, every, <laughs> when everybody is setting up their home offices, what, what's the best way to set it up so that we really address our physical and mental well-being? Tune into some of your other senses. I put, you know, scented candles or yeah. uh, pictures of loved ones or anything that really brings you a sense of calm and ease and, again, allows you to be mobile. Like, motion matters, right? We don't want our spine to be rigid. So anything that you can do to create flexibility, dynamic mobility, well, you got to get up and move around because I think some people get stuck at their desk and they don't get up. But there are 
Can you give us some exercises, real things we can do to stretch it out? Oh, absolutely. Take a break every 15 to 20 minutes, play some music, change the space. And then really what you want to do is grab one of these little resistance bands. You can find these anywhere online. Oh, yeah. so I put um, this little door jam is like about $1.99. The first exercise is a standing chest expansion. It really opens up the front of the chest. It feels so good and it keeps those muscles around the shoulder from hunching forward. Do three sets of eight of all of these exercises. The next one is a standing row. Now this strengthens all of those muscles that keep the head and the chin back. So this is a really important one. And then a standing reverse fly. I love this one because this really opens up the rib cage and it allows this clavicle bone to kind of drop down. And this gets tense from heavy breathing or a lot yeah. of stress and tension. So that's a great one. And the last one is this reverse lunge. Now this turns on those glutes, which help keep the pelvis aligned and it opens up the hip flexor and it keeps our low back nice and mobile. And you can check all that stuff out at today.com slash shop. Christine, that's all great advice. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you it. so much, Christine. And we'll be back right after this.